Hey, you to the Shrek City. I'm Timothy. I'm Rose. I'm Nikki. And this is Hunter Hunter. Episode 135. Sorry. Yeah. I was just going with it. I'm just, I just excited because <laughs> I... Last time, the king knows all. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And the king is heading somewhere. To Kamugi, I think. Is it to Kamugi? Yeah. Most likely. Wolfen is an old bear now. Wolfen, Wolfen yeah. is an old, old cat. Sucks. Yeah, he. Oh, but gosh. at least he let his thoughts be known and didn't die. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you. That, that was a high price to pay, man. <laughs> yeah. such a good mullet. Yeah. He, he did. Awesome. He did. He was. He was a rocker, dude. As annoying as I thought he was, I like seeing really cool characters. And I thought he was one of the coolest looking ants. He, he was one of the cooler ones. Yeah. No, he he wasn't a crustacean like Bravada. Yeah, Bravada was a little bit eh to me. Mm-hmm. Like I was saying, he just a lobster. Yeah. Sure, they're eat just a wolf, but wolves are cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> also, the king is is like, I'm gonna find Kogmugi. I'm going downstairs. Yes. yes. And he's, he's got the location in the courtyard underground. Yeah. So we're gonna see if our friends are waiting for him and what they're going to do. Mm-hmm. Palm knows he's dying. Yes. Right. Um, he may not have an inkling of it. Mm-hmm. And is he radioactive? And is meeting with him a good idea? Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll find out in this episode. Guys, remember to hit the like button, remember to hit the subscribe button. Also check out the Patreon in the description to see these episodes a whole week early, as well as the uncut version of these episodes. And also check out the description to see the link to our merch store. Let's get right into the show. Random things. He's here. <laughs> taking in the sights. I guess. Oh. Hello. Come, it's particles. <laughs> he always poops. Yes. yes. And scattered it. But that's not him, that's his aura itself. Mm. Yeah, his N. So. What's the benefit of that versus just flashing it? Yeah. Didn't they put it in a box? Oh yeah, they put it in a box, but they were in the room, I guess. Yeah, they did put it in a box. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I know you're still hiding, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Must feel stupid. Yeah. Just in the closet. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, different emotions. Tootsie. Mm. Oh. Oh? He decided. Oh. He hates doing that. You have won. We won. The battle is over. Snap. For your ears only? Wow. And he really cares about her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe he does know he's dying. <gasps> he learned it already? <laughs> oh. Oh. I think you can just believe him. It's okay. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. I think she's just like, okay, is like, really? Yeah. The ant part of her can't believe it either. Mm-hmm. It's just a slight change. Because he's always on the border. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Huh. Oh, Aww. beautiful aura. Beautiful. She's crying. She doesn't want to have pity. <gasps> oh, my God. oh my goodness! He's bad. No. You no. sound. Yeah. Oh. Wow, the ant started first really strong. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh, Shai is dead! Oh, wow. Wow. 
No, is it just a storm? Wow, just... that was in- incredibly inglorious. Yeah. yeah. Deserved. Yeah. Mm. Oh, she's dreaming of it. <laughs> oh, you poor kid. <laughs> Oh, time to play. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. You're a little late. I gotta say. What are they say? Oh, they're all leaving now. <laughs> the okay. supreme leader. Okay, so there's no no end. Why not screw that guy? セキュロ。そう。そこはちょっとばかしいビデオでな。ああ。ああ、見ました。いいんですか?ああ、計画に。たった 1名 <laughs> oh, was that to be played if he ever died? What's his position? Uh, his secretary, I think. Oh, oh, it was. His last message to him. Good job. ゆっくりお休みになってください。うん。公認人事のメッセージが記録された動画が連動サイトで配信され、話題となった。うん。政治家主導の巨大なニュースに書き消され、それが遺言であると理解したものは、ああ、ごく僅かであった。New character? Why does this guy look like the Supreme year? Leader? 13th year for- Of retirement? So was that other guy? Was that the, the leader before this leader this leader? What the heck happened? It said Diego, same name. It's over. <笑>何ですか?ウルストラ早口ヨナ。ヨニは過ぎたものたちだ。ならば、いらっしゃいましたらお礼を。いいじゃん。ヨノが起きたな。おお、ヨナはメルレムだ。メルレム。全てを照ら
中将の落語衆を防ぐ手はあるまい二六一騎馬逆あなただだいかにうん無駄がこんなに幸せでいいのでしょうか私に私みたいなものにこんなに素敵なことが This is wonderful. <laughs> She's bleeding too. They are contagious when they're too close、yeah. long, for a while, so、yeah. it's being around them for a while that's、yeah. the problem. A significant amount of time. Yeah. yeah. Was to, they couldn't see light anymore. Yeah. Although they are underground, and his, what, I think that his end was lighting things up.、Mm-hmm. Was it?、Oh. Yeah, and I think it was like it was as dimming his, as he、yeah. died. Okay. And then he just had the one end on her hand. It was cute.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, half the episode is going to be about that, so it's supposed to be beginning and then work away. <laughs> okay. Uh, so the battle is over, he says.、Mm-hmm. He, 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 I mean, so is it that he just ended his plans of world domination or because he realized he was dead? The battle was yeah, over. Yeah, well, as soon as he touched her, he's like, oh, I'm dying. So even he had this wish. I think he, he definitely changed his mind about world domination still. Yeah. Because he was talking about how at some point. He changed just slightly. It was just a slight change. Because、mm-hmm. we, we did talk, you, you mentioned it. He was on the edge. Yeah. Yeah.、Um, so, what, so, what did you think of the ending conclusion of spending time with Kabugi? Kabugi? Over and over and over. Like, episodes are like, how are we going to do this、yeah. any longer?、Mm-hmm. It made all of it make, like, come together and be worth it. Yeah.、Uh, for a while there, I was really wondering what they were doing with Kabugi. Like, I, I understood that they're showing the human side and being challenged in a way he doesn't understand. But I was wondering the significance of her herself and what she would do in the story.、Mm-hmm. I, I would never expect e d it to go this far. Yeah, yeah. crazy.、Mm-hmm. 
So the king was straight up just like, not only am I dead and abandoning that mission, I am willing to bow and beg for you to show me where Kamui is. Yes. It's, like, it's the last thing. Just, yes. Just let me see her. It's the only thing he cared about. Mm-hmm. And he let um, Palm watch the last minutes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she stayed there the whole time until they died. Mm-hmm. And speaking of Palm, Palm's aunt side kicked in. It's yeah. like, he should not be bowing to me. Yeah. This is like a horrible thing. Yeah. 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 That's why she was like, at first I was like thinking she was reacting because she was angry. But then he already said she had no anger, hatred, or anything. It was duty and resolve. Yeah. <laughs> so the duty and resolve led her to resist the king, but simultaneously understand that as king, he should be regal and shouldn't be bowing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. She respected him still as a king, and she couldn't, she couldn't fight that part of her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So perhaps for episodes to come, we'll see a little bit of that ant inner war continue with Palm. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if she's going to main cast or not. Especially because there's a lot of other ants still around. Yeah. And some trying to be, you King. know, kings and queens. Yeah. So, I mean, he was supposedly the ultimate creation. So maybe she won't have that kind of adoration for others who just kind of make themselves, hmm. establish themselves themselves. <laughs> yeah. I think a lot of it's just genetic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, Palm is also a super soldier. She was the first test subject. Yes. I'm wondering if she's much, much stronger than they anticipated. <laughs> like, this is way beyond anything they expected. Is she on level with the Royal Guards? Because mm-hmm. he's like, yours is as beautiful, as strong as any I've seen. And yes. He's seen the Royal Guards. He's yeah. seen the Royal Guards. Like, he, they gave him yeah. all of themselves. So, yeah, yeah that, that's saying something. Mm-hmm. That means that she could have probably maybe taken on one of them. Yeah. With her power. Mm-hmm. Especially, like, her hair power her Mary Poppin fit that was that's that's hard to break through yeah mm-hmm. it was this whole episode was just poetry with everything that it showed yeah. uh, not only with the king be, uh, becoming so human like but also it got such a simple ignominious end for Shaibu yes. yes he just falls down dies in the middle of a crowd that doesn't even know he's there no yeah, yeah. It, 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 I, I, I didn't I, I don't know if I felt sad for him like because the the way his his face just looked like kind of thing shock like, mm. it's shock yeah and just kind of like despair yeah. it was despair he was like all that he worked for mm-hmm. it's all gone yeah he, he was a monster and I did want to see him die and mm-hmm. I'm glad he did die but at the same time I really respected his hustle so to speak yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, he was committed to his ideals committed to the cause yeah he, he truly believed it was the right thing to do yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. this is true mm-hmm. What was up with that heavy winds, though? It was so strong that it pulled the cape off. Yeah, yeah I think that, was, that was just his... Because uh, the cape is part of him. Right. It's, it's oh, wings. Oh. So, so I think it was just his wings dying. It was his wings. Right, yeah, right. that makes sense. Okay. Um, and it's probably... Yeah, this is a random storm that just developed to, you know, wake the people up a little quicker, mm-hmm. I guess. Yeah. I mean, to, to see from the clouds in the sky that the wind was so strong that everything was pointing that way. Yeah. <laughs> and it was also important to... Um, make sure they weren't getting poisons just standing there because Chai was poisonous. Although it, it stops when they die, right? No, I don't think so. I that's think what they said. I think it specified that it continues after you die. No. It did. That's yes, they did. Yeah. That's not what they said. That's not what they said. Well, it'll get cleared up, but I, for one, think the entirety of East Gorto is about to die. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm. And then, speaking of East Gorto, the <laughs> actual supreme leader that retired. Oh, yeah. How did he. I thought he was fully dead. And. What's her name? Pato was using that, him as a puppet. That can't have been him, is the thing. That said, thirtieth year of retirement. So an imposter's yes. been Diego this entire time. Yes. <gasps> and he's been cool with it because yeah. he's chilling on a farm. Yeah, he doesn't want to be actual leader because it's a terrible place, and so this guy became a terrible replacement puppet. Mm. And he's waxing poetic about just humanity and the meaning of life and all that. Yeah. It makes me. You know, it's funny we're watching Binless out at the same time, and it okay. makes me think of Sparkle. It's very cool. It's very cool, the old man. The old mm-hmm. master, oh, yeah, yeah. How he, he saw that they could expand and make more farms and get more power, but he's like, at the end of the day, does it really matter? I'll mm-hmm. just take what you need. And in a way, that's what I guess maybe, and we didn't see anyone else there, that's what he's doing. He's like, he has his little farm, he's doing mm-hmm. his own thing, there's yeah. no need for power. Yeah. What is the significance of showing that scene? Is he going to show up? I, th- I, ooh, I didn't even think of that. Uh, but I was thinking maybe it was like showing you, like, being like brand king of the whole world is isn't really gonna satisfy you uh, in turn. It's not gonna give you peace. Satisfaction. Mm. Like having the biggest ambition in the world, or even being given, ev- like having everything laid at your feet. Yes. 
is not going to give you peace. It's like what is actually going to give you peace is probably the simpler, really almost insignificant things. Mm -hmm. And for king, for the king, it was Kamugi. And for the, the king of East Corto, it was apparently a farm. Yeah, mm -hmm. his little doge. And his doge. Mm -hmm. Doge. But the end arc is rapidly closing up. We just have to deal with the spare ends, Remnants. especially that alligator one that we saw disappear and never right. saw again. We're going to have a lot of cleanup still for with all the, mm -hmm. the little ants. Yes. Mm -hmm. And also there's still that um, uh, pregnant exorcist girl in Bizef with oh, right. that other little ant. Oh, yes. They're still out there somewhere. Yes. It's like Nazi gold out there somewhere. <laughs> they just ran off of the treasury. Yeah. Speaking of Bizef, they the people who were reporting were, were like expecting some sort of revolution as yeah. a result because he was missing. Missing. Mm. I'm sure he would if he could get free of the, the crazy ant lady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, well, yeah. Did did she did she say he had to do something for her or something? Well, she just wanted the moons. Yeah. She was gonna leave him to die and was like, I'll show you where the treasure is if you save me. Okay. So he's kinda of stuck with them for now. But she said I'll eat you if you liked. Okay. And also they have that uh their pseudo butler valet, the ant one. Yes. Like one of the earliest the, drones. The more early yeah. drone ones, yeah. Yeah, so we got that. Um I wonder I mean, after the king being dealt with, it can't take more than an episode to clean this up. No. So it would be very anticlimactic. I feel like it it would be too much to even show it. I feel like it's just made in a background kind of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, they'll mention, oh, where's so-and-so? Oh, he's, he's dealing with some ants up in yonder or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it'll just be a problem in the background for a while while we enter next arc or final arc, probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we'll just keep a few of them as pets like Colt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because having the ants out there, just a few of them, I think kind of spices the world up in a way. That's yeah. just having these weird monsters out there that live in the woods. As if the world wasn't spicy enough, we had like fox spirits during the trait during the hunter exam or We did. And we have a caterpillar slash bean as Nero's secretary. secretary. That's happening. Right, I wrote that down because uh, everything in this world makes sense. We're just humans and ants are monsters. What the hell is that thing? <laughs> Is that like a I mean, enhancer who did something weird to himself? Yeah. Once I, I actually remembered that those creatures, like it happened in the middle of this 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 episode. I was like, I just realized ants are not that. That explains why the lady interviewed Leo. Yeah. That like, explains oh, a lot. It's not that crazy. No. Hmm. Just hmm. a furry. Yeah. Furry. <laughs> because also remember our little friends, the little gang that used to go around with Kite. One of them right. is very furry looking. He's, uh, he's like he's a panda a man. a koala thing, I think. Panda koala. <laughs> panda koala bear. Panda koala. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. It's just, he's just so weird. But yeah. <laughs> anything else? This, the final thing was the king's death. Yes. I don't know if you have anything else to say about that. Mm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, it was a very beautiful end. I just find it fascinating how we were like begging for a solution to for to get rid of this king, and then when they came, we're like, "Oh man, yeah, that's so sad." Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is sad. Mm -hmm. But I'm glad he died. Yeah, <laughs> he had to go. Yeah, it's I'll... like it's like one of those things where it's like you wish it had a better ending, mm -hmm. but there is no better ending than this. Yeah. I feel like if he wasn't poisoned, um, he would probably still be at risk of having ambitions still yeah. of being great mm -hmm. and grand. But it's like coming to terms with the fact that, wait a minute, I, I'm dying to just random poison? I'm not a god. <laughs> yeah. So I, I think it, it, there was really no redeeming him except death. He had to see that he his he was dying, and that brought him to w the humbleness. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if he if he his change were, you know, prior to finding out that he was dying, which we, we were unclear of, um, maybe it was a there was a chance that if he did he wasn't dying, he would just like live in a cabin playing things with Kamuki. Just forever. <laughs> forever. Gungi forever. Until they until he can beat her, which is probably impossible because I think she's just Gungi Supreme. She is Gungi Supreme. Yeah. She, Every, she was born in the Gungi. Yeah. <laughs> she just Molded by. comes up with new moves. Somebody beats it and then she reverses it immediately. <laughs> like reverse the reverse. Yeah. Mm. And you know, it's just a thing with the king, even even though he's softened up, I mean, part of the reason I was glad he was gone is because when she he thought he, she was like playing around with him, he like he he's was still, up. yeah. And it's like I, I understand he's still learning, but he's like a toddler with a nuke. 
yeah, he, he just couldn't exist in a normal world without being mm. a threat. But um, speaking of Komugi being born in a gungi, um, I, I said in the episode, it's just she doesn't really know who she's talking to to this day. She's the supreme, supreme leader. The actual is, yeah. but you know mm-hmm. what I mean. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I feel bad for her because she had such a hard life, evidently, yeah. and. This was her happy moment, was dying with the king, yeah. the supreme leader. Yeah, and it, it's a little bit, to me, a little bit tainted because this is a person who's brainwashed to worship this man. Yeah. So that's why she's so immediately attached. Yeah. But I, I, it doesn't spoil the scene for me. It is still a beautiful scene, and whether brainwashed or not, her feelings are real. She's genuinely happy. Um, she really cares for this person, and she did something that made her feel fulfilled. Yeah. So I, I am happy for her. Yeah. I think something else that was quite poetic at the end there, um, Miriam stopped being able to see after a while. Right. Mm-hmm. Kind of like her. He was in the dark. Like, mm-hmm. she... And she blind the whole always, you know? So it, it didn't make a difference for her, mm-hmm. like, it mm-hmm. being dark or him losing sight or anything like that. Yeah. But, yeah. And in a way, it kind of made him vulnerable. Yeah. Because she never once, despite her blindness, felt insecure about the people around her or whether or not they were still there or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it showed once he loses power, he's really an insecure person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. You know what I'm getting at. Yeah. 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 It was very vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Kept me like, are you there? Yeah. Still there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 It was really nice. I like how they did it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, is that everything? That's everything I got. Yeah. yeah. All right, so maybe we'll cry more in the next episode. Guys, remember to hit the like button. Remember to hit the subscribe button. Also, check out the Patreon in the description to see these episodes a whole week early, as well as the uncut version of these episodes. And also, check out the link in the description to see our merch store. Woo. We'll see you guys in the city. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, bye. And special thanks to our patrons, Deli, Andrew, Tyrone Tyrone, and James Lee.